Hey there, today I wanted to show you a really neat trick you can do with an operator comment. So what I want to do is run this program. It's a simple program. I have four circles. Each one of them has a dimension. And if any of those dimensions are out of tolerance, a message will pop up indicating that it's a fail. And also it will indicate how much out of tolerance it is. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Let's uh, run that and I'll show you how it goes. Continue. Okay. First circle, so that's a fail. Circle one is 0.86 millimeters out of tolerance. Click OK to continue. So because it's an operator comment, it'll pause the program and the operator needs to respond. So I'll just click OK. If I click cancel, it'll abort. Number three is a fail. And again, it's indicating how much out of tolerance it is, and we'll just continue. Last one is a pass. Okay, so I'll show you how I did it. I'll try and keep this pretty simple. So you can see here I have circle one, my feature, my measured feature. After that I have my dimension, and you can see it's out of tolerance, it's shown in red there. So below that is the code that I used to enable that comment first thing I did was assign a variable v1 the value of that variable is location 1 diameter out of tolerance and you can see there that it's referring to that out of tolerance field my next line is an, is an if and if uh, command which evaluates the value of that variable so if it's greater or less than zero, in other words, if it's out of tolerance by any amount, it will go to the next comment. If it's in tolerance, it will be equal to zero and skip to the end if and proceed with the rest of the program. So the first comment I have is an operator comment and I've also added a time delay so the auto continue is enabled with a one second delay. So you may have noticed that as it was running just so that it's not on the screen too long and the operator doesn't need to respond. It's just basically a picture. And I've also imported media of that uh, thumbs down image. Following that is the second comment and here's where I need to write a little bit of code. So what I have in brackets is a string command with first my text. And the important thing here is that I leave a space after the word is. So circle one is with a space, quotations, and then adding the variable. So the V1 is the value of the out of tolerance field shown up here. And that will be plugged into my operator comment. Following that, I have another plus symbol, quotations, and then the rest of my sentence. So how many millimeters out of tolerance? And then next I've just added click OK to continue if the operator needs a bit of help there. Okay, so that's it. So we'll run it once again and we'll have a second look at this just to show you how that goes. So there we go, so you can see the countdown there. Uh, circle one, same thing as before. Okay, so that's it. Just a quick little tip. I uh, hope you found this useful. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Hey, so while I've still got your attention, I just wanted to take a moment to promote our e-learning training program. If you like my tech tips, then you may want to check out our series of instructional e-learning videos. Our CMM e-learning courses are internet-based and cover the complete PCDMS training courses from start to finish. This will be the same material covered in our classroom training with the added convenience of allowing you to view them whenever and wherever you want. For more information, please visit the training section of our website.